with gay guard <laughs> did you have any thoughts about that at all like how do you feel about that i guess for gay guard's career like because you're a fighter you're probably looking out for other fighters like how did you feel seeing that happen to him in a way and um what do you think should happen next for him i mean for him man it's like at the end of the day it's gay guard right and it's like i don't like for him i don't really feel bad for it you know what i mean like I think that gay guard can go anywhere in the fucking world and, and, and make money and, and get signed by somebody. He, I think he can go over the one and have, and get a great contract. I think he can go over the risen and get a great contract. You know what I mean? I don't know what his relationship is with the UFC or whatever, but he's one of those guys that, you know, like I, I can't, I can't feel bad for, you know, I feel like he can go anywhere and make money and good money. You know what I mean? Good money at that. So yeah, I think he. I I don't think I know he'll be all right. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, he's a big name. He's a legend in the game. So yeah. hopefully, someone picks up. Um, one sounds probably like the best one for them. But they always say that one's bankrupt and shit like that. I don't understand that. Yeah, I I heard stories, you know, but I'm like, fuck, they're on like I like the uh, Prime and I mean Amazon. I, I don't know, it, I, unless there's some inner workings because. I can literally watch a whole fight card and not be bored, man. Like they have really good fights. So I don't know. Yeah. They got something good with the jujitsu and the boxing and Muay Thai, like all mixed in and shit. Yeah. I know. Yeah. UFC's got to maybe like, you know, take a page out of their book with that one. 